Hey everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. Today we're going to go over some more differential equations. This one is a little bit different, but as always, I'm going to go step by step. If you're an engineering major or a math major, you're going to have to take differential equations in your degree plan. So let's go ahead and get started with this one. This differential equation is what's known as a second order differential equation. So we have x squared y double prime minus 5xy prime plus 9y is equal to 0. And the best way that I found out to solve this problem is to use substitution. First thing I like to do is I like to look at the uh, variable at the beginning of the equation. And so you can see this is an x squared. So what I'll do is I'll set y is equal to x to the m. And then I'll take the derivative of that. And so y prime is equal to, um, and remember when we take the, we take the derivative of a uh, number with an exponent, the exponent goes in the front, and then the exponent subtracts 1. And then so we'll take the, deriva the derivative of that again. So we have y double prime. And in order to take the derivative of this, you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to multiply m minus 1 times m x. And then since this is, you're going to do minus 1 again. So m minus 1 minus 1, which is just m minus 2. Okay. So now you can see that I rewrote the equation. And we are going to do our substitution. So I'm going to put y into y, y prime into y prime, and y double prime into y double prime. Okay, so now let's go ahead and write that down. And I'll write our substitutions in blue just so it a little bit it'll make it a little bit easier to read. And we have m what remember y double prime is right here. So m times m minus one x m minus 2 uh, minus 5 x and then y prime which is m x m minus 1 and then we're going to add 9 and remember y is just x to the m and that's equal to 0 okay now Let's go ahead and combine our terms here uh, and try to follow me. This could get a little bit tricky, but trust me, it's it's not as hard as it might look. So we're going to look at our our exponents. We have a two right here and then we have an M minus two and then we have an M minus one and then we have an M. But wait, we're actually missing an exponent. Keep in mind that this x right here is actually x to the one. So don't forget that because that'll come important. That'll become important. Remember our rules of combining numbers with exponents. So when we have x squared times x m minus two, we're going to add or subtract our exponents that they have. So m minus two plus two is actually just m because you have m minus 2 plus 2 so minus 2 plus 2 is 0 so that just leaves m by itself so we now have just x to the m and then we're going to write we're going to combine our m times m which is m squared and then m times negative 1 which is minus m and since we combine these two x terms, the, it's just only one x term right here. Okay, so now we're going to combine or we're going to subtract minus 5. And I'm going to combine these two. So just like we did for the first terms, we're going to do the exact same thing. Repeat the process. So m minus 1 plus 1. For exponents, is just m. So we have x to the m, and then m. 
And remember, just like with the first couple of terms, we do the exact same thing, the X is combined. So you only have one X right here. And then you have nine or plus nine X to the M is equal to zero. Okay. So let's go ahead and factor out our X to the M because we actually have an X to the M in each one of these terms right here right here and right here so when you factor it out you have x to the m open parentheses and then now you're just left with m squared minus m minus 5m which is this plus 9 is equal to 0 close parentheses all right now we can get rid of that x to the m term by just dividing it on both sides. And so now we're just left with m squared minus m minus 5m plus 9 is equal to 0. Okay, now, you know, if you remember algebra, it's looking a little bit uh, easier to deal with, right? So I'm going to combine these two terms right here. So now you're just left with m squared minus 6m plus 9 is equal to 0. And then we can actually fa uh, factor this two out, these, this term out. So we have m minus 3, m minus 3 is equal to 0. And now you're just left with m is equal to 3. Whenever roots are the same, there is a general solution uh, that we can actually write down because of that. So we're gonna look up some rules. Now, as you can see, um, be, I'm gonna use the, the one that says equal real roots, the one in the middle. You can see that the example here says R is equal to four and four. Uh, so just like with us, we have uh, M is equal to three and three. And then the general solution is the one all the way is the one on the right hand side of that so now that we know what that is we can actually write out what our actual solution is now returning back to the screen that we have our uh, equation in we can write out our solution so whenever we write it out remember what it is we can say y is equal to our constant one c1 e to the 3x plus c2 x e to 3x and that is our general solution to this equation now as always if you have any questions let me know down in the comment section below uh, if you if you have a question about a future video that you want to see about a, a particular problem that you're having and with differential equations uh, be sure to uh, put it down in the comments as well. Make sure you like, you subscribe, share this video, um, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified for my next upcoming videos. And as always, see you guys next time.